The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin on the Soybean School down uh, near West Elgin, Ontario today, joined by uh, Albert Tenuta, Omafra's plant pathologist, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the invite. Hey, uh, soybeans are off, um, and uh, it's been a strange year. Um, I thought now's a good time to talk, check in on a few things, specifically soybean cyst nematodes. Um, they're on the march again. Yeah, we've seen soybean cyst nematode uh, not only increase locally, say in the southwest, you know, we're West Elgin here, which has had a long history of soybean cyst nematode. We're finding a new area, Simcoe County. Is, is a new one for, for Ontario. We've also seen an expansion in Canada. So besides Ontario, Quebec, you know, my baby brother, Mario, Mario. Tenuta in, in Manitoba, founded in Manitoba as well. So now we have Manitoba as well, um, joining the Soybean Cyst Nematode Club for Canada. So Albert, let's talk about that. Um, growers in Simcoe, growers in Manitoba, what should they be looking for in their fields when they're li looking for ne nematodes? Yeah, the, well, the first thing in most cases is that visually, especially on those, those new areas, new locations where cyst nematode populations may not be very high, you may not see those, those stunted plants, those visual above ground symptoms that we see typically associated with soybean cyst nematode. In most cases, they may not see anything above ground. It's all below ground. So first thing they need to do is dig up plants. Throughout the season, look at those roots, look for soybean cyst nematode. Are you seeing yield loss? You know, that has always been one of the triggers and one of the most common um, comments I get from producers is, well, I knew something was going on. My yields have been declining over four or five years or so, now I know. So those are two important um, key um, things to consider, as well as just making sure that, you know, just if the beans look odd or you've got spots in the field that are starting, look at those areas around the headlands, the knolls, stressed areas. Those are gonna be the areas where you're gonna see the symptoms first. Let's talk about resistance to uh, soybean cyst nematode. Sure. Uh, you've got a, a great source of resistance that's basically breaking down. You're seeing more and more of it every year. Yeah, so we've got, you know, right here in West Elgin here with the, the PI88788. It has been spectacular. It's done almost too good a job in managing soybean cyst nematode over the years to the point now that the nematode has adapted to that source of resistance. So we are seeing now you know, 30 years after the introduction of the 88788 into Ontario, and you know, same pattern occurred in the US, we're starting to see populations that could reproduce on it quite substantially to the point now that it's almost like it's a susceptible variety in those fields. And so the PI88788, in those instances, uh, we're seeing more reproduction, more cyst on the roots than we would like to, that's an important uh, observation or, or symptom to keep in mind. If it's just the same as when we talk about fungicide resistance and that you're always gotta um, evaluate your efficacy, right? Is the product performing as it should be? And so if we're seeing more cysts on those roots than you would expect, that's always a, a, a something of concern, right? Mm -hmm pulls out the red flag in that. You know, we do have other sources. The Peking source Peking? is also yeah. an important one. Um, we're starting to see more companies and more varieties coming out with the Peking source of resistance. And the PI88788 is still very effective in the province. So even in those fields where we're starting to see the Peking um, reproduction, uh, that adaptive population increase, it can still work in an integrated SCN management program. Final thing I want to talk about is a sudden death syndrome. Right. Typically, uh, we have SCN, sudden death isn't far behind. No. Um, you're seeing that, that, that synergy more and more every uh, year? Oh yeah, in many cases, they're almost like sisters or partner diseases in, in most fields, and we continue to see that. that. It's a good point that you bring that up in that the two help each other. And in many cases, as we're starting to see soybean cyst nematode numbers creep up, that has a drastic impact on SDS. We start seeing 
higher levels of SDS in those fields as our cyst nematode uh, populations uh, increase and maybe get out of control in that. So if you can manage soybean cyst nematode, you can reduce your SDS as well. And so just like we talked about management for, for soybean cyst nematode, when it comes to SDS, we want to plant good tolerant SDS resistant varieties. We've got seed treatments out there now, we're getting more and more that are, you know, these are targeted fungicide seed treatments now that are targeting just SDS for instance and that. So we've got tools available to us. It's important to make sure that we have an integrated SCN, SDS management program, and it has to be a long-term program. Yeah. And now's the perfect time oh. to do some soil testing, right? Oh. To see what's in your soil. Oh yeah, so the crop's off. Nematode's done its thing now, right? So what you've got here is the maximum number of cysts in that field. That from uh, reproduced this year. So you know, you get your overalls on, your coat, grab your hat. Yeah, you get your, oh, the leaf span. Uh, of course, there. you gotta get your leaf hat out here and that. Soil sample, or even better, if you don't want to get out here, get your local retailer, crop consultant, somebody else to take those samples. And it's just as easy as taking your fertility sample, splitting that in half, half goes off to fertility, the other half goes to your soybean cyst nematode test. It's simple, you gotta take the test to beat the pest. Awesome. Albert, thanks for dropping by. Hope the leaves do as well as your soil testing. Uh, yes, and another thing to remember, um, the so Soybean Cyst Nematode Coalition website has a lot of information on the SCN issue, as does the Crop Protection Network um, website or cropprotectionnetwork.org for a lot of the cyst nematode SDS and other soybean and corn and wheat disease. Awesome. Go soil tests, go leaves. Excellent. <laughs>